Hello, how are you doing? This is going to be a quick video on the truth of what is a nautical mile. Because there's a lot of rubbish out there about them being connected to a globe art, which is not true. Nothing to do with a globe art whatsoever. What is a nautical mile? One nautical mile equals one minute of degree. 60 minutes of degree equals one degree. So one degree equals 60 nautical miles. Degrees are measured with angles. And angles to the celestial objects measure a difference in degrees from a starting point of 90 degrees. For example, an angle that is 36 degrees off the horizon means that there is a deficit of 54 degrees from the 90. So that's 54 degrees of celestial distance from the observer's position, which gives us a straight line sky measurement of 54 degrees by 60 nautical miles, which is 3,240 nautical sky miles. So nautical miles have absolutely nothing to do with the surface of a globe out. They are a measurement of the sky, which are then translated onto the Earth's surface via the zeniths of the observer and chosen celestial object. Surface-based measurement is done in statuate miles. A statuate miles are not a reference of or determined by the sky. Only, only nautical miles are a measurement of and determined by the sky. There is no such thing as a globe-based nautical mile. The word nautical is defined as of or concerning navigation, sailors, or the sea, maritime. The word nautical has no connection whatsoever with heliocentric belief or claims. There is no globe miles. Okay, this is very simple. Okay, <clears throat> here is the GP of the star. Here is the observer. Here is a 40 degree angle, right, to the star, which is here. Okay, this is the observer zenith here. This is the zenith of the GP of the star. They have a co-altitude, okay? I'm just going to read this out here, then I'm going to show a very, very quick demonstration to show exactly what nautical miles are and why there, there are 60 nautical miles per degree, okay? 40 degrees of angle, okay? 40 degrees of angle leaves a deficit from 90 of 50 degrees, which works out at, as 3,000 navigators minutes or 3,453.338 statuate miles of surface distance. But, but a more well-known term when referring to navigator's minutes is nautical miles, as they had to convert every single navigator's minute into an Earth surface equivalent, and that is why 60 navigator's minutes became 60 nautical miles. Attention, 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 this is the important part. Navigator's minutes are sky miles, and have absolutely nothing to do with a globe out or heliocentrism. Nautical miles reference the sky, and statuate miles reference the earth. One is for distance, statuate miles, and the other is for navigation, nautical miles, or navigator's minutes. Okay, so this is how it works, right? So, see this purple line here? This is the 3000 navigator's minutes. Okay, or 3,453 statuate miles, right, in a straight line distance. But because it's in the sky, it's not a mile, right? It's not a statuate mile. So what they had to do is take all these navigators' minutes, right, once they have uh, determined that distance, which is a co-altitude distance, they then take those 3,000 navigators' minutes and bring them down to the surface of the earth and call them nautical miles. That's why there is three, sorry, that is why there is 60 nautical miles per degree, because there are 60 minutes per degree, right? 60 navigators minutes per degree. That is why we have 60 nautical miles per degree, but we have 69 statuate miles. Statuate miles are surface-based measurement, okay? Whereas nautical miles or a better term for them, navigator's minutes, okay, are a sky-based navigation distance. Two different things, right? Just because they have the word mile behind them, one is statuate and one is nautical. Look at the word nautical. What does it mean? It means navigation. It's a navigation mile, right? Nautical miles, navigation miles, navigator's minutes. That's what's going on. So it has nothing to do with a globe, nothing to do with the center of anything or any other idiotic claim. Okay, they're navigators minutes. That's why there are 60 of them per degree because 
uh, 60 uh, nautical miles per degree because there's 60 navigators minutes per degree. Now, I can't make it any more simple than this. Either you get it or you don't get it. Thank you.